and Sankesh Thiaranuk in Anam Shakta Edon or Reardon to discuss a multi denominational co educational second level school details of that. Uh, and Minister, I very much appreciate your attendance here. Uh, it shows your commitment to the debate, and I, I very much appreciate it. Um, I just want to make reference to the school development area in my own constituency, which is known as Cluster Rohini Kuntarf. So, if you're familiar with North Dublin, uh, Minister, the borders will be the Malahide Road, the coast, and the Oscar Trainer and Kilbarrick Road. And within that area, there's about seven second level uh, schools. Um, all of which have uh, religious um, uh, ethos, uh, four of which are all girls schools, one of which is an all boys school, and two of them that are mixed, uh, one uh, has a Church of Ireland ethos, uh, and uh, the other has a Catholic ethos. I suppose what parents are saying in, in my constituency, Minister, is that um, there isn't a school for them. Uh, if they are attending, their children are attending a, an Educate Together school, for example, uh, or if they uh, want to choose a non-denominational or multi-denominational um, uh, school for their children, they don't have one. Now, not only that, but just on the border, if you, might, if you, if you like, on the Malahide Road, there are two other schools, two other second-level schools in Ardsgall Reach and Chanel Kulak. Uh, they are also uh, all-boys schools. Now, you will know from your own department minister uh, the department has not given sanction to any new uh, single-gender schools since 1998. It's not department policy. Uh, and what the department are saying to the campaign group is that it's up for the campaign group, if you like, to engage with, with each of these schools to see if they are willing, able, or at a point um, in their development of changing their ethos. Now, that is unlikely to happen. Uh, that is putting the onus back on, the, on, on volunteers uh, to engage with schools who have enough on their plate, uh, if you like, without uh, having such a, a, a huge conversation in the short term. To be honest, having had this conversation before, Minister, with your predecessor about another part of my constituency, um, uh, while the initial response from the department was that demographics didn't justify a new school, that's where we ended up, and that's why there is a second level uh, Educate Together school now uh, in the Northern Fringe area as sanctioned by, uh, by the department. So what I'm asking you, Minister, is for uh, the departments to sanction and to recognise a new uh, second level Educate Together school in this area. This area has, got, has changed, its demographics have changed, there's a huge number of new young families in the area. My office has never had the, the number of uh, uh, requests uh, in terms of school places at second level, uh, which has, has had in the last number of months. It is, it is now um, a, a huge issue uh, locally for, 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 for families trying to access uh, second level places. So, in terms of, of, the, uh, of the area, seven schools that are listed, and many of whom are, are, are difficult to, to get into in the first instance, one of them has a wider remit, uh, a wider a mandate, if you like, uh, in, in that it is of a Church of Ireland, um, uh, Church of Ireland uh, ethos. Therefore, it accepts children from right across the north side. So, uh, living within the catchment area doesn't give you, um, if you like, uh, access to that school uh, as of right, as a geographical right. It has a wider remit. So, you really are uh, um, uh, reduced to six schools. As I say, four of those uh, will be all girls. Uh, one of them will be all boys. So, the point, Minister, is in terms of allowing for that continuum of education in an ethos which is multi-denominational. Um, parents in the area are, are extremely anxious that we can move to a situation where that choice is, is available to them and that they will not be forced, if you like, to send their children to a second level school which is under an ethos uh, which they are not comfortable with. Even though all these schools will say, and they will rightfully say, that they do everything they possibly can to facilitate children of all backgrounds, I think what is best um, for the parents that I'm talking to is to have a new school, a new multi-denominational ethos school uh, that will afford them the choice to have that continuum of education in the manner in which Thank they, you, in, in, in in which they uh, best fit um, their own belief system. We've just five minutes left now. In uh, and, and thank you, Deputy, um, and I appreciate you raising the matter. Um, it does give me the opportunity to set out for the House the position with regard to second-level schools in, as you've said, Calestra, Rahini and Clontarf. In order to plan for school provision and analyse the relevant demographic data, the Department of Education, as you'd be aware, Deputy, divides the country into 314 school planning areas and uses a geographical information system using data from a range of, um, of sources 
um, including child benefits, school enrolment data, to identify where the pressure for school places across the country will arise and where additional school accommodation is needed at primary and post-primary level. Where the data indicates and indicates clearly that additional provision is required at post-primary level, the delivery of such additional provision is dependent on the particular circumstances of each case and may be provided through either one or a combination of the following options. Utilising existing unused capacity within a school or schools, extending the capacity of a school or schools, or provision of a new school or schools in the area in question. A patronage process is run after it has been decided, based on demographic analysis, that a new school is required. This patronage process is open to all patron bodies and prospective patrons. The online patronage process system has been developed by the Department of Education to provide objective information to parents, which will allow them to make an informed choice about their preferred model of patronage, as well as language of instruction, whether Irish um, or English of a new school. Parental preferences, as well as other considerations, such as the extent of diversity of provision in an area, including Irish medium provision, are key to the decision-making process and to whether, at post-primary level, a school would take the form of an Irish medium, Gael Kaloshta, or whether, of English medium, the school would include an Irish medium unit or an ANOV. Most new post-primary schools um, must have a student enrolment capacity of six, between 600 and 1,000 students. A lower threshold of 400 students may apply to Gael Kaloshti, having regard to the alternative of establishing an ANOV within a school. There are, as you have said, Deputy, seven post-primary schools currently serving the Calesta Rahini Clontarf school planning area. The Department's most recent projections do not indicate significant increases in school place requirements at post-primary level in this SPA to the extent that an entirely new school would be required in the shorter term. Nevertheless, and I want to be clear in saying this, Deputy, the Department will continue to work to ensure that there is sufficient capacity in the area to meet school place demand and will keep all the requirements in this area of Cholester, Rahini, Clontarf, as with all other school planning areas, under significant review as we do on an ongoing basis. Um, additionally, the Department will continue to liaise with Dublin City Council in respect of its review of the Dublin City uh, Development Plan with a view to identifying any potential long-term school accommodation requirements. Th thanks, Minister, and I appreciate your reply. But again, every, every area is different. You, you say that there is seven post-primary schools serving the Cluster Rohini Clontarf area, but as I've said to you, four of those are all girls' schools. One of them is of a Church of Ireland ethos, has a remit wider than, the, uh, than, than that immediate area for the entirety of North Dublin. Um, and so, uh, you know, it, it is a particular situation. I am, uh, you know, encouraged by what you're suggesting here in terms of ongoing review. I think what I will do with, with the campaign group is to uh, is to get as much data and as, uh, and as much information possibly to engage with the department because, as I said to you previously, I had a discussion uh, in the channel at the time with your predecessor about the necessity for a multinominational school uh, around the northern fringe. At that time, I got a very similar answer to this, which was you know, quite negative. Uh, however, the school is now up and running, and I, I expect the same thing to happen here. Minister, I would suggest to you again, if you consider uh, the change in demographic of the area, the younger families that have come into it, and the fact that if you are not interested in a, in a, in a, in a Catholic uh, second level education, you have no option. You have no option. Seven schools are listed, six of them are Catholic, one of them uh, has a, uh, is non-Catholic but has a, wider, um, has a wider remit across the entirety of North Dublin, uh, and so therefore you are uh, not entitled to enrolment in that school, if you like, uh, because of your, um, uh, if you live in, in, in that immediate uh, Catherine's area. So, Minister, what I'll say to you, I will, I will continue to raise this with you. The campaign group with myself will be um, compiling data to engage with, with the department. But this is a, a growing uh, area it's, uh, with younger families who are going to need second level places. But it's unfair, Minister, to allow children to attend a multi-nominational primary school and there is a new one, uh, not a new one, but a, a relatively new one uh, that is moving into Colester in September. Uh, there are a number, one, number of educated together schools that have opened up primary schools uh, in that area in the last number of years. But then at sixth class to inform those children that they have no uh, opportunity to continue that multi-denominational education 
uh, until leaving, sir, you, because they just have uh, to, um, if you like, uh, move into a, a denominational situation. And I think that is unfair to those children and those families. Minister, just to conclude as briefly as possible, if you yeah. could. Um, uh, thank you, Deputy. And um, just, I suppose, to, to clarify, and I appreciate we're running out of time, that the demographics at post-primary level in the Rahini, Clontarf, Colester uh, school planning area are expected to peak in 2028 with a gradual decline out to 2040. So the 2020 enrolment is 3,789 across seven schools, uh, expected to peak in enrolment at uh, 4,087 in 2028. I suppose it's also important to note that, as I said, where um, a patronage process is being run for clarity, I would need to say again that the patronage process is run after it has been decided that a new school is warranted or required. The patronage process is open to all patron bodies and prospective patrons. Parental preferences for each patron and in relation to the language of instruction of the school from parents of children who reside in the relevant school planning area, together with the extent of diversity currently available in the area, are key to the decision-making process. An online patronage process system has been developed by the Department to provide objective information to all parents, which allows them to make an informed choice about their preferred model of patronage for their child's education. The patronage process for new schools is overseen by an external independent advisory group, the New Schools Establishment Group. And I appreciate, um, Deputy, the points that you have made in terms of those that you are working with. I am, as I have said in my earlier response, happy to keep this under review. We, we do that constantly in, across all of our um, uh, school planning areas and we work um, with the information as it comes on stream, either through um, you know, um, the, the, the local authorities, the development plans or whatever the case might be. And we are very proactive in this space, so I am happy as I said, to confirm again that we keep everything under review.